glad you could make it to the barbecue. There's an art to cooking a steak, but there's also a science to meat quality. You're about to meet Professor Robin Warner, and together with her colleagues, she's been exploring what happens at the level of the cell and the biochemistry, right from the paddock to the plate. There's a lot of variation in meat tenderness, various between animals, and in particular, there's some variation between muscles. So we were trying to understand a bit more about what causes this variation. And a lot of the research is also done on raw muscle. So we wanted very much to look at cooked muscle and also look at cooked muscle under the microscope. Robin brought together four scientists, including her PhD student. They would approach the question of meat tenderness with different scientific skills. Unbeknown to them at the time, this partnership would end up rewriting the dogma in textbooks. The dogma in meat science is that the shrinkage you see in muscle during cooking is caused by connective tissue, which also causes the water to come out of the muscle. So we wanted to test this dogma. Robin and her team separated out the muscle cells, put them under a microscope and watched them cook between 25 and 95 degrees Celsius. Cooking means proteins denature, they change shape. Then they watched the surprising results. No one else has ever done this in the world that we know of at all. So what we see is two quite discrete and separate um, events in terms of shrinkage in the muscle cell. And you see one at around 55 degrees and then another one around 75. So it's obvious it can't be one protein denaturing at two different temperatures. It has to be two proteins and also the fact that there's no connective tissue there in the muscle cell, that it must be something within the muscle structure that's causing the shrinkage. Robin's research showed new insights into protein behaviour, but also highlighted that water, which is a part of the meat structure at the cellular level, actually drives the changes we see in meat tenderness. The reason that um, this research we think is important for industry is because if we understand what's driving the changes that occur during cooking, how water is lost and how the proteins are shrinking, we do have variations in quality due to different cooking procedures. So we can make sure we use the best cooking procedure for different muscles and the best treatments to get um, really good quality out of muscle. So we might be able to take an ordinary muscle and do something to it by understanding these changes that occur and actually make it into a better quality and better tasting meat. Research continues to improve our fundamental understanding and economic benefits are always welcome. In this case, meat quality will be better for you and I.